So, of course, there's um, violence happening in the Middle East right now. There's a horrendous situation. Um, Israel went into the Al-Aqsa Mosque. Forgive me if I'm mispronouncing that. Everybody knows I struggle with all sorts of uh, pronunciation issues. Um, they stormed the mosque, and they were using tear gas and rubber bullets and attacking uh, peaceful worshippers. You also have the... Um, Planned evictions happening in East Jerusalem. Now, they were just postponed because of the violence that was going on, but um, these are evictions that are completely illegal under international law. Um, you have every human rights group, including the biggest human rights group in Israel, has their hair on fire, and they're saying this needs to stop. Israel's an apartheid state. They're doing an illegal occupation. They're expanding settlements. They're doing an ethnic cleansing um, it's a disastrous situation. It really is. And you have this new round of, of crackdowns and Israel was doing quite a bit of bombing in Gaza. And at the time of this question that you're about to see asked to the U.S. State Department, you had, I believe the number was 20 Palestinians killed, including nine children. Now, the Israeli side tries to dispute these things. I gotta be honest with you guys. I don't put any stock in their word because they said all this stuff in 2014 during the last time they went on a bomb fest. They, they were disputing all these numbers and saying, no, 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 that's not true. We're only hitting Hamas. Don't say we're hitting the civilians. We're only hitting the bad guys. We're only targeting the bad guys and all that stuff. Well, later a UN report came out that found 80% of the people who died uh, in 2014, during Operation Protective Edge, 80% of them were civilians on the Palestinian side. 80% of them. So, I gotta be honest, I just simply don't believe what the Israeli government says about any of this shit. So, when they contend that and say, no, 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 it's, uh, no, you know, only, uh, it's not 20 people and 9 kids dying, and some of the people who died, it's because Hamas rockets misfired and went back and killed their own people. I, I honestly, I don't believe a word they fucking say. But anyway, I digress, that's neither here nor there. Because what you're about to see here is the U.S. State Department asked a very, very straightforward question. The question is basically, do you condemn the killing of kids? Can't answer it. We're speaking of the principle of self-defense. Uh, we you certainly... Know, I'm asking if you think that the principle of self-defense applies to the retaliatory... the, 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 the airstrikes that they're conducting in and response Matt, this to is the, a very fluid situation. I, I would hesitate to uh, comment on operations beyond, you know, the rocket fire that uh, is clearly targeting innocent civilians uh, in Israel. So I would hesitate to speak to specific operations um, that have just occurred, but the broader principle of self-defense is something um, we, uh, uh, we stand by uh, on behalf of Israel yeah, but do you think country. that a Israeli military response to the rockets coming in, it, it, that a, a military response to the rockets coming in is covered by this broader rubric of self-defense, right? Uh, self, self-defense often does uh, uh, authorize the use of force. This, uh, thank you, Matt. Uh, I want to ask you about East Jerusalem, but let's talk about what you said about the principle of self-defense. Does that in any way apply to the Palestinian? Do they have a right to self-defense? Do Palestinians have a right to self-defense? Uh, I'm, in broadly speaking, Saeed, uh, we believe in the concept of self-defense. We believe it okay. applies uh, to any state. I All don't right. think okay. that, I certainly wouldn't I, want uh, my words to be construed no, as... I understand. I, I want to ask you, I don't want to harp on this either, but, you know, the Israelis killed 13 people just now. You know, including maybe five or six children. Do you condemn that? Do you condemn the killing of children? <laughs> Said, uh, God, I, I, I'm asking, do you condemn the killing of Palestinian children? Obviously, uh, and these reports are just emerging, uh, mm -hmm. and I understand, I was just speaking to the team, I understand we don't have independent confirmation of facts on the ground yet, so I'm very hesitant uh, to get into reports that are just emerging. Uh, obviously, okay. the deaths of civilians, uh, be they Israeli or Palestinians, are something we would take very seriously. Okay. You're going to know as soon as I read what your answer was that there's a big problem with it. You said... Well, not a problem, it just doesn't answer the question. We believe that it, meaning the right to self-defense, applies to any state. Well, you see the problem, right? Yes? Do you want to... Do you regard Palestine as a state? I wasn't referring... Do you think that... Do you... Do you but you, I... But you I, don't but in the context of the ICC and the UN. I, so are you I, saying that you do not... 
if it applies to any state, are you saying that Palestinians don't have a right to self-defense? I, I was making a broader point not attached to uh, Israel or the Palestinians in that case. So they do have a right to self-defense. Matt, I'm I'm not I, no, 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 no. I'm not I'm, I'm not in a place. position to, to debate the legalities uh, right. from up here. What our message is one of de-escalation. No, it's not. No, it's not. I'm not in a position to debate legalities. You're the U.S. State Department. If you're not in a position to talk about that, who the hell is? In fact, I take that back. You know who is in a position to talk about that? The U.N. International Human Rights Groups, and all of them are unanimous on this. And this Weasley little prick who can't stop sweating uh, is... It's amateur hour over there at the U.S. State Department. Because he's not even a half-decent bullshitter. Okay, so... I mean, it's amazing that the simplest questions in the world trip up the U.S. State Department. Because that guy knows what his job is. His job is to go out there and play defense for anything Israel does. No matter how terrible it is, no matter how immoral or unethical... Go play defense because they're our ally. And so he goes out there and he's sweating and he, he, he can't get a, a complete sentence out and he's too verbose because he knows it's bullshit. But he's asked the simple question, does the principle of self-defense apply to Palestinians? His response is... <laughs> See, what happened was the sun was in my eyes and me and Craig and them was down by the Safeway and we saw... Jared, and when we looked at Jared, him and Greg were over there by Lance, and I was thinking that, new phone, who this? He can't give a straight answer. By the way, here's how you answer that if you're not a Weasley little prick. Uh, do Palestinians have the right to self-defense? Yes. That's how you answer that. By the way, if somebody asks me, does Israel have the right to self-defense? I say, yeah. Anybody has a right to self-defense. If somebody else is the aggressor and they are going to hurt you or kill you, you have a right to self-defense, period. This isn't hard. This isn't hard. But it is hard for them because, again, they have the position of, it's an axiomatic position in their mind, no matter what, Israel's correct. And so they have to try to weasel their way out of it and bullshit and tap dance, and it clearly doesn't work. Then I love, listen, this is very rare, but these reporters did a phenomenal job. Uh, that last guy said, your comment, the U.S. State Department said, we believe the right of self-defense applies to any state. And that guy spotted the bullshit there because they don't consider Palestine a state. So if you say the right of self-defense applies to any state, you're saying... Palestinians actually don't have a right to self-defense because they're not a state, but Israel does have a right to self-defense because they're a state. See, this is part of the gross carve-out that we make where somehow state violence is justified if that violence is us or one of our allies. In fact, state violence doesn't even count as violence, so you can't, for example, use the word terrorism. That's a big argument that people have where they say, hey, if it's the state officially carrying out the business of the state, then it's, we're, it's just magically not in the category of violence, even if it is violence. And it's magically not in the category of terrorism, even if it is terrorism. Even if you're bombing civilian targets on purpose and killing civilians, if it's a state doing it and it's one of our allies, hey, it's collateral damage. It wasn't a terror attack with innocent civilian victims. And then, of course, the big question. I love how he asked this, too. So straightforward. Do you condemn the killing of children? And then he followed up, do you condemn the killing of Palestinian children? And the guy was up there, like, trying to do the fucking Pythagorean theorem. Trying to crack some nuclear code or some shit. So, so, uh, it's not a hard question. Do you condemn the killing of Palestinian children? Can't do it can't do it. So just get this idea out of your mind that the U.S. is some sort of, you know, objective moral arbiter. We're not even close to a moral arbiter. Not even close. So this is the truth that they can't get around, okay? This is the truth that they can't get around. Israel is illegally occupying Palestinian land. 
They're illegally occupying Palestinian land. They are expanding those illegal settlements. There are planned evictions happening that are against international law. There is an apartheid state. There is ethnic cleansing. These are the facts. These are the facts. They cannot get around those facts. So when you're asked, hey, do the Palestinians have a right to self-defense? The reason they can't say yes is because then the follow-up question is this. Isn't it self-defense if somebody's coming to illegally kick you out of your own house? I'll ask you that question. Somebody shows up at your door. I don't care who it is. I don't care if it's an individual. I don't care if it's a government. If they illegally are kicking you out of your house and the, the governmental bodies, the ultimate governmental bodies, the UN, if they say, no, 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 this is definitely illegal. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. That's what it is. This is against international law. This is against the Geneva Convention. This is against the Nuremberg Tribunal. This is against every international criminal court. Every, every law body at, at the, you know, the highest level you can imagine. It's against the law. So somebody comes and tries to kick you out of your house, and you know it's illegal. Don't you have a right to self-defense? It's your property. Somebody's coming on your property trying to kick you off of your own property, and they have no right to do it. Don't you have a right to self-defense? I'm asking. The answer is absolutely you do. 100% you do. It's not even close. So that's why they can't, that's why they can't say, yes, Palestinians have a right to self-defense, because they know that's the follow-up question. Okay, well, if you have a right to self-defense, somebody comes to illegally kick you out of your own house, don't you have a right to use violence to protect yourself? Don't you? That's why they can't answer it. That's why they can't answer it. And of course, the United States does everything to uh, not discuss any of the things Israel did that were already grossly immoral, unethical, and illegal. Like uh, storming the mosque and going after peaceful, peaceful worshippers twice, two separate occasions. That happened. Like the bombing of civilian targets in Gaza, which has already happened, killing children already. So, um, that's where we are. Your beacon of hope and freedom and democracy and human rights can't even make basic points in favor of freedom and democracy and human rights because it would offend our dear ally Israel who wants to be able to get away with the most grossly immoral and unethical things.